Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 8 of Supernatural Season 7, The Mentalists. Apologies again for the delay, I just had a project that I needed to get done. That's kind of why I'm not even doing it in a specific setup here. I think what I needed to do is I needed to re-watch the conversation at the end of this episode. I like the jokes of this episode, I kind of like how the story goes. It is a little bit lackadaisical considering the content of it, and someone actually even brought it up in the comments about how there's just so happens to be this other psychic guy and Sam just casually blows him away you would have thought that hey you're psychic do you by chance have you know powers related to someone with yellow eyes who might have burnt up your motherly figure when you were younger the mentalist has a little bit of good things going for it it has a little bit of a funny story going for it it's another filler episode big surprise it does have some elements that are enjoyable particularly from the fact of uh, the guys going after someone who is trying to kill no oh, apologies the fan system in the house started up so that's why you're gonna hear a whirring it is kind of funny to see all these other mentalists and this crap and whatnot it does remind me a little bit of the Chris Angel's a douchebag episode. The casualness of both the killing of the guy who's doing everything, despite the very, very extreme nature in which of how he's using this ghost woman, and then how, how unbelievably easy the distrust and the distaste between the two brothers is solved. First, let's talk about the actual monster. It, it's a ghost lady, an old timey figure of the town, who's being used by this creepy psychic guy to kill off all these other mentalists. Admittedly, there actually is some a little bit of tension. I like the damsel in distress episode, uh, who's in this episode, whose mother or grandmother kicks the bucket at the beginning. The best way I can say it is that this episode is kind of standard. Uh, funnily enough, it's bland, but it's not badly written bland. Like it would be obviously in the latter seasons of this show it still has that kind of eh, be like okay you know I can consume this and not have a care which whatsoever about it it's when it comes to the end of the episode Sam and Dean have their conversation and Sam just falls over he just keels over and he's like yeah you know what yeah you were right to kill Amy she was a monster and if I had known her I probably wouldn't have you know probably wouldn't have thought the same nah bro you have thought differently with people you didn't even know. First example is the vampires from season two. How is this just so easily forgotten? Like fans aren't that slow to think about it in this episode. Dean takes hold of the conversation, basically says he's been right the whole time, makes Sam feel guilty himself about it and in the end they just kind of like ha 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 and they walk away what was the point of putting in this story factor if it was only going to be solved five episodes later in the most lazy way possible this is andrew dab era level laziness in this episode i'm impressed just how bad this is but I have a feeling the reason why is because the next episode is time for a wedding so they had to have the brothers have some form of friendship again for the worst episode in Supernatural's history so the episode isn't garbage it does literally trip and fall on its own face at the end but it had enough muster to crawl its way to the end but i'm not a fan of this episode i'm not a fan of it and i'm going to give it a generous rating but it's still a negative rating i'm going to give the mentalists a three out of seven well you know just just the ending like i almost wanted to put it in just to like tear apart this conversation but i realized i would have been wasting a lot of time on something not nearly worth the time to be spent on so i just decided to just review it but let's see what you guys had to say about this episode this tells me i need to rewatch because i feel i barely remember anything i do love that sam this time is the one to say you cross the line i never thought i'd get over dean killing amy pond yeah no to be honest i'm, I'm there's a few things that i'm re-remembering -re myself like i totally forgot the whole amy pond thing uh, i wasn't surprised that sam was talking to dean wasn't talking to dean after finding out what really happened to amy he has every right to be furious with dean for lying to him and killing amy i really like seeing sam and dean trying to find a way to work together i'm glad that dean finally decided to let sam in and tell him how he really feels about killing amy and also about castiel i guess a little bit but just how it comes across 
it just felt so uh, haphazardly, so easily solved. The Mentalist is a fun episode exposing fake businesses that take advantage of people's pay uh, to who pay those to see those on the other side, supposedly speak to them and have their future read to them. Admittedly, it asks a lot of, from the audience to believe the murders, the murders the Leviathans did as the Sam and Dean are dropped. Hang on. Oh, uh, and have dropped the public forgets about it but it's supernatural people have been dense about earlier seasons apocalyptic events uh, i also love the callback the campbell hunter lineage and having helen by proxy make a cameo was really fun it makes sense she'd reach out to the boys after joe plus the monster involving a real psychic trying to help uh, them versus a sibling who envied the gift. There's a certain truth that people prefer the safe, entertaining way of versus the real supernatural way. I now, now, the reason I love how Sam and Dean handle their current predicament isn't necessarily the outcome of Sam coming to terms with Dean doing the right thing, killing Amy, and then Dean feeling guilty about lying to his brother's back. No, the reason I enjoy it is because it's a plot point that isn't dragged out throughout the season. Because in every situation where they lie to each other earlier and later on, it is a reoccurring opening, the wound issue. I like that simply that when their drama can maturely be handled and then go back to hunting evil together. Admittedly, season 11 to season and 12 handled this pretty well by cutting the drama for a few episodes where they lie to each other. That's how it should be. I will give you that, Joe. I will admit that is the... I, I get that. That makes sense. I think it's just how it's handled, how it's written. It makes Sam the guilty one when he has every right to be angry. And sure, Dean feels guilty about it because he should. He literally murdered a mom in front of a kid. You don't notice how he doesn't mention that to Sam. Mentalist, this is not only one of the weakest episodes of season seven, but also one of the weakest ghost episodes that the show has ever produced. It's an episode that I always skip. However, I did rewatch it two days ago before a slash fiction review. Uh, I couldn't even finish the episode. The only aspects that stood out to me was Sam's body language, the tension between the two brothers, and the line where Dean said that he felt naked digging up a day. A, dead body in the daylight which yeah they just do that and they don't get in trouble for that i don't know how on earth they got like i think they just couldn't shoot it at night i just don't think they were allowed to that's my thought anyways like i know there's supposed to be some urgency but that also could have been a logistical thing the end scene where it was resolved between the tension between the brothers was the only positive point of the episode. I'll give it a 2 out of 7. Interesting twist, how the real villain, being a guy with real abilities but not enough showmanship, kind of underwhelming um, how Sam just shoots him and moves on, but oh well. Also, man, that conflict ended a Brit abruptly. Guess the brothers are bros again. It's nice that Dean got a little push from, the, from a friend, but still. Yeah, your comment is the one that made me think about just the implications of just casually shooting a psychic and not even thinking about the fact that, hey, you know, this could have been another one of the yellow eyes. All right, this is it. This was, up until Andrew Dabbs era, was regarded as the worst episode in supernatural history. Time for a wedding. So give me your guys' thoughts about that episode in the comments below. I know I've, I've talked about being like negativity, blah, 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 but I do understand that this episode has its uh. Don't, don't spoil it for me though. Like if you can, I don't know. I, I usually try to not read your guys' comments until the day of, of uh, doing the reviewing. So yeah, I'm, let's, let's go at her because I don't remember this episode other than it's Sam being date raped essentially by a you know, what's her, the crazy one. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Till then, see you guys next time.